people who are working in wards um, at Stanford. Um, Nipah virus was first identified in a large outbreak in Malaysia um, that, um, where the first cases were seen in um, September of 1998. Um, it began up here in the northern part of the country in Ipoh province, but over the um, course of months spread um, farther down south. Ultimately, 283 human cases were recognized and 109 deaths. Paul Schwau, a Malaysian virologist, um, isolated a novel paramyxovirus from a patient's CSF um, in Sungai Nipah village. Hence, um, the name of the virus is Nipah virus. Now, the clinical features of the illness in Malaysia um, were um, symptoms of encephalitis. Moderate disease, um, with high fever, headache, malaysia, um, uh, which often uh, resolved, but at times went on and produced more severe symptoms with disorientation, hallucination, seizures, and coma. I want to mention that this really was an encephalitic presentation. Only 14% of um, patients mentioned um, any respiratory difficulties, and those were typically non-productive cough, and uh, chest radiographs overwhelmingly were normal. The pathology, when these people died, this showed a diffuse vasculitis. Um, the brain was the most affected organism, um, particularly the brain stem, but virus was also identified commonly in kidney and in lung. So how did the people in Malaysia get Nipah? Um, this is a typical question that we epidemiologists ask. Well, the outbreak was concentrated among pig farmers. Indeed, 92% of cases reported contact with pigs. And compared to controls, people who didn't have Nipah virus, um, folks who developed Nipah infection were 5.6 times more likely to have close contact with pigs and to have contact with sick pigs. So then we asked the question, well, where did the pigs get the vi virus? Well, in 1998, there was um, a newly recognized syndrome in Malaysian pigs called porcine respiratory and encephalitis syndrome. This is pretty much a mild disease, a little bit of fever, um, some um, uh, trembling, unusual, um, uh, uncoordinated gait. At times, it was severe and the pigs developed a barking cough. Um, but mortality was low, 1 to 5 percent. And if you raise pigs, pigs die. Um, it's just like raising chickens. Um, not, not everyone makes it to adulthood. So um, this was not a particularly um, outstanding event. Um, though it was later appreciated that press was caused by the same virus, by Nipah. So then the question was, how did it transmit between pigs, and how did it go all over the country? Well, once pigs were recognized to be sick and to be the carrier of this virus and to be spreading the virus, the, um, the price of pork plummeted. And so what did people do? They tried to sell their pigs farther and farther away, which was a very efficient way to spread the virus throughout the country. So the next question we ask is, OK, so the pigs spread it to the people. How did the pigs get the virus? Well, um, there were a lot of ant wild animal studies done trying to figure out what was the reservoir um, of this virus. And ultimately, um, the teropus bats, which are um, large fruit-eating bats, these are not like the, insect, um, the insectivorous bats that live in North America. Um, <clears throat> the uh, virus was isolated from um, Teropus hypomelanus. And other Teropus species um, have also been found to harbor the virus. So the likely transmission cycle then reconstructing it is that um, in Malaysia, when they were building the pig pens, they started to put fruit trees next to them um, so that the fruit could drop down. It would give the pigs some shade. Um, and it would also provide them some food. The mangoes in the trees attracted um, the bats. The bats shed the virus in saliva, um, or they'll eat fruit for a while and then spit it out, spit out what they call the spat, which is the seeds. So that would all be contaminated with saliva. The pigs would get it, and once the pigs got it, they transmitted it on, on to people. Um, the outbreak in Malaysia ended 
with widespread culling of pigs. Almost a million pigs were killed. And this is a picture where they're bulldozing live pigs into a pit. And this was followed by machine gunning by the Malaysian military um, to kill all of the pigs. Um, fruit trees were no longer permitted around pig pens, and the pork industry was really decimated. However, since um, 1999, there have been no further cases of Nipah virus recognized in Malaysia. So that would have been the end of the story, kind of this weird spillover of this bat virus. In